Good morning. All right, so we're going to do a craft that is going to help us remember everything that goes on in Holy Week. And Holy Week is the week before Easter Sunday. So everybody has their craft. The first thing we want to find is our stretchy string, right? Everyone got their stretchy string? All right, so I think the first thing we should do is tie a little knot in the end just so we've got a stopper, but you want to keep it in a little bit because this is, as you can see, this is huge. So we're going to tie it around our wrist when we're done. So we want to go in a few inches and tie a knot. Leave a, leave a tail. Leave a nice tail, a couple inches. And I'm going to do it, I'm going to try and do it like yeah, one, maybe two knots because we don't want everything to fall off the end as we're weaving it on. So there, I did two. It doesn't, you'll see it's, it's stretchy, so the knots don't tie that great. All right. And then what we want to do is we want to start threading the beads on. Now, this tells you, like, how to do it in order, the directions, so that it looks a certain way. But this is your bracelet. You can do whatever you want. But I'm going to go by the directions. So the first thing it says is you want to do a light blue piece. So we get a light blue bead. And we weave it through. I can't even see the hole in this. Okay, there we go. Light blue bead. Then we do a flower, a silver flower. Boom. Light blue bead, silver flower. After the silver flower, we do a purple bead. Or you can follow along with me. I'm going to do it because I like to make nice patterns. Okay, purple bead. So we go blue, flower, purple. Then we do one, sil we do another flower. So we're like encasing the purple in flowers. Boom. Flower. After we do that, we're going to find one of the little tiny round beads and put that on. Boop. And then do a charm. And then we're going to go back the opposite way. What charm do you want to do first? Take a charm. All right, I'm going palm leaf for Palm Sunday. Putting the palm leaf charm on. And then you repeat, right? So we do blue, flower, purple, flower, charm, and then start over. So we do blue, flower, purple, flower, <laughs> flower. What comes after flower? Little tiny dot. Ah! Just a word to the wise here. Use a plate to keep all your things corralled. Miss Patty showed us how to do that. Otherwise, we'd have them all over the floor. Then we do dot. Then we do charm. And I'm going to show you what I've got here. And then I'm going to click this video off and you can do this yourself. Look at that. So I'm making my little charm bracelet. Now, when you're done, you want to tie this around your wrist, nice and tight, couple knots, best you can do. You probably want to have somebody help you, an adult, tie it onto your wrist, and then you cut off the tail ends so it fits nicely. Now, you might find if you have a tiny wrist that you don't want to put every all the beads on there because it might get too big. So you might want to just skip a bead or two and do some charms. All right? Hope you enjoy it.